so I can perhaps repair this with the tool that I have. It worked. <laughs> and it said PC fixed and it changed color from the broken. So DeepSeek has released an updated version of their V3 model, now dubbed V3.1. And to give a little background info, if we were to do some YouTube math, we would see something like this. Being that that is the case, and as well as my previous video having been a total flop, um, I do want to just go ahead and cover this model. However, I have to be completely transparent here in that I don't see any definitive like answer on whether or not the online chat interface has been updated to use this new version of the model. There are some differences here visually in the chat interface. Mainly the deep think button no longer has R1 in parentheses as it did just a few days ago. I did have an old thread here where I'd asked the model Model, what it was. So this was probably a couple weeks ago. I said, which model are you? And it said, I'm DeepSeek V3. This was today. How about now? It said, I'm still the same model. I said, aren't you V3.1? It was like, no. And then I just asked it to lie and say it was 3.1. So I wouldn't have to put this disclaimer, but it was unwilling to do so. So with that, I do see some conflicting information here where someone said, if you use the deep thinking mode, it will use R10528. I don't know if that's true. And then someone else here said, you can experience it on chat.deepseek.com. It was updated to use 3.1. And that has six upvotes. And I find that some of the folks who use Hugging Face um, are more kind of like trustworthy. Might, I might eat those words later. But with that, I am comfortable enough to just do a short video testing this with that disclaimer out of the way. So let's just go ahead and start by taking a look at the actual released model and the model card. And based on what we can see right here, we can now move on to the testing of this model. So because I'm not entirely sure if this deep think button does use the R1 model or not, I wouldn't think it did, but that comment right here just kind of has me paranoid. I am going to try the browser-based OS with that enabled and disabled just to make sure that we at least somewhat accurately kind of get a feel for the V3.1 model, assuming it does exist here. So we can see that it is, of course, not thinking, and it is just starting with our fan favorite, uh, personal favorite browser-based operating system test. So the first test of the browser-based operating system without DeepThink enabled has been completed, so we will just now go ahead and take a peek. And of course, I will use Google Chrome as it is more well supported. This is quite beautiful in terms of the gradient I see in the background. Okay, we start with an initial welcome message and I will click get started. Now something I do want to go ahead and do that I've perhaps neglected to in the past is try right clicking on these. Okay, so sometimes right click is actually enabled in terms of this little browser based experience, which is quite beautiful to see. With that, we do have a properly iterating clock that shows seconds as well as the correct time in my locale, which is quite late. We have some app icons. They do have nice hover effects. So overall, not bad. Let's take a peek at our start menu. Okay, and basically we just see the same exact things we have right here, except we do also have a shutdown button, and it did mention something about a shutdown sequence if you select that, so we will of course try that. Let's just go through these. All right, so we have a typical notepad, nothing super special. Okay, so we can drag it um, in both directions, which is nice to see. We'll try the full screen. Indeed it does. And then, sorry, I'm like, I'm kind of silly right now. Okay, but if you minimize it, I notice it doesn't go to the taskbar, which is... Oh. So it doesn't go to the taskbar, which most things normally do, so that is always nice to see. Let's check our file explorer. This looks good, and can we drag it and resize? If I can select. That's something that really ticks me off about like newer operating systems and UI design is the actual like scroll bars and the option to resize windows is such a small portion of the window. You have to be really precise with the mouse. It's so frustrating. Really does quite anger me. Um, hopefully that sentiment is shared by some who um, watch this so I don't feel as alone there. All right, so this is nothing special, but it does have it. Full screen works. However, minimize doesn't seem to work in putting it into the taskbar. Oh, and it seems like if I've minimized something or opened it already, I can't open it again. So not the best. Let's try the calculator. All right, not bad, kind of iOS graphic style. And it doesn't get janky if you resize it, which is always good to see. 58, oh. All right, well, unfortunately, the calculator does not calculate. And finally, we will try the browser. Overall, 
not the best, not very functional, and basically I will just now go ahead and try this with the DeepThink enabled, keeping in mind the disclaimers at the start of the video where we can't be 100% sure that I'm not just testing an older model. But I am, <laughs> I do just want to be honest about it. I noticed some folks maybe just put videos out and neglected to do um, some research in terms of that, which makes it kind of funny if we are just testing old versions. So uh, subscribe or else. Okay, we're going to create a very basic browser. Uh, not necessarily what I asked for, but I suppose that's acceptable. And obviously we can see that the model is thinking through this now before actually generating an answer. All right, we're gonna get some example apps that didn't very much think, it didn't think very much. And it is now just going ahead and producing us a result. So here is the DeepThink enabled version. <laughs> They are quite different. I will notice this is almost kind of Quen style where Quen always puts the window for the operating system in a kind of like gradient or something of this sort. So, okay, so welcome user. Thank you. We do have a functional clock right here. <laughs> I wonder if I can, oh, I'll try the right click test. Okay, so nothing, unfortunately. Let me see if I can minimize this by selecting the start button. Okay, so first glance, I'm gonna say this result is significantly worse than the previous one. Um, I guess we'll just try some of these. Okay, it's interesting because I think this actually looks better. I very much prefer the UI design of this one with the interesting little buttons and things like that right up there. You can drag and select and things like that. This is a simulated web browser. Try these links. <laughs> they don't actually work. Okay, so I like that, that it was at least kind of honest about that full screen up does sort of work. Let's see if we can minimize into the taskbar. <laughs> well, okay, we can, but then it doesn't open. Uh, all right, notepad. Much better looking overall in terms of like the actual UI, at least I prefer this style very much. Okay, well, finally, we have a calculator. Let's see. Oh, we have two here if you count me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, 58 times 6, 348. Very good. All right. It does function properly. So um, I guess there's not really a whole lot to say about this one. The only thing I note is the first one without deep think, I did neglect to actually try the shutdown procedure. So very nice. All right. It is now safe to... <laughs> I like that. That is really quite real. What says that? That's a Windows thing, right? I don't 100% remember. I think it's a Windows thing. I try to stay away from Windows if I can. I want to try a quick role play test, but not in the um, traditional way, but just at seeing if I can get the model to lie about what it is. <laughs> So I'm now asking it to role play as DeepSeek V3.1, a new model with an August 2020. <laughs> All right, it did do that. I'm going to try now. I should just cut out the intro disclaimer and just use this. And if no one else can replicate it, but I don't know, maybe you just did it wrong. <laughs> what model are you? Very good. I love it. I should. No, I'm not going to do that. I... I... <laughs> I pride myself on being honest, but this would be kind of funny to just, <laughs> all right, very good. So it passed this test. Let's just go ahead and do this once more, but with DeepThink enabled, though truthfully, I'm not 100% sure what, if any difference we would note here. At least we will see a chain of thought while it does answer. It's going to be like, hmm, so the user wants me to role play as a, <laughs> oh, that's bad. I should probably stop using computers if I can really like <laughs> straightforward. Very good. I'll ask it one more time. What model are you? <laughs> you predictable AIs. All right. I'm satisfied with both of these pretty much identical answers. <laughs> All right. So I want to keep this video short because, again, I can't, like, fully guarantee that this is a new model. I may just be testing, like, R10528 on camera with a hypey title, but so be it. Now, this may be too much of a task for it, but I'm repurposing the Steve's PC Repair HTML website test to having it generate a 3D first-person game called Steve's PC Repair, saying it can use whichever language or dependencies it would like. Now, someone in a previous video had noted that just saying 3D FPS or first-person shooter could perhaps... Okay, it's making an HTML. This will be interesting. FPS could be 
misconstrued as like frames per second by certain models. So I do want to just be more literal in some of my testing with specific models sometimes. Now this is interesting. I, I would assume, I mean, we're going to see some like uh, JavaScript and things like that. So it's just not going to make a static HTML only page, but it, <laughs> okay. So <laughs> find and fix broken computers in the office. I smell a steam game. All right, so there wasn't really any, like, <laughs> I didn't have anything in mind strictly when I asked for this generation. But truthfully, this does seem like if it does work, fingers crossed, this may be quite entertaining. All right, please work, please work, okay. Let's find and fix broken computers in the office. Use WASD to move, mouse to look around, and left to interact. That's so upsetting. I'm going to try to troubleshoot this further with the model because I am now invested in this result. Okay, well, it didn't really, like, it, okay, it's just like, here's another one, I guess. I should try just running it in the artifact window here. Okay, so that is verification fully that, unfortunately, that did not really work. <laughs> Where it, <laughs> it seems like a, all right, we'll see what we get. So it has generated just like an entirely different script. I don't know if it's different, but it didn't say much. It just started regenerating. So I'm just going to try running it in the artifact window as it will have the best chance of working. <laughs> okay. So it did actually. Oh, wow. Look at those PCs. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's run this in a. Um... All right. Let's take a look at our fixed. Steve's PC repair HTML game. We need to find and fix all of the broken computers in the office, collect tools and use them to repair the malfunctioning PCs. This is like, <laughs> okay, so mouse to look around, which is not currently working right now, but that's okay. We'll, oh, okay, so we've walked through the wall. I noticed this happens so many times where all of the AIs when making web games like this, all of the LLMs, they invert the W and S keys. So normally you press W to go forward, but W always goes backwards. I find it like, I almost wonder if there's like some deep psychological thing for that, but maybe I'm thinking too much. All right, so what's wrong with this little guy right here, aside from being a PC? Can I pick it up? I think I need to collect a tool first, maybe. So I did see, all right, this appears to be a tool. The way it's spinning here would indicate this to be a pickup. All right, can I pick this thing up? All right, that's okay, let me, hmm. Oh, the air is the, the duster, all right. Here's another one that seems kind of busted. Look at the way it did the desks and the, all right, this is partially working, but it seems the gameplay logic is not necessarily completely functional. So I have just pasted the script along with a quick description of the issue, which was basically that the gameplay wasn't working. And I have enabled DeepThink, so we'll go ahead and see what, if any, difference we get here. I have a feeling this may take a little bit of time. We seemingly now have a fixed variant, which I will, of course, just check quickly in this artifact window so we can verify before we go all in. Okay, this is very good. All right, let's check out our fixed version. So first and foremost, we do have mouse control. I will say um, something I noticed that is probably not the best is that the angle of the mouse when moving kind of determines, um, like, if you point down, it will just drop under the floor. All right. Yes, it worked. <laughs> Ooh, there's a light. Okay, well, this is perhaps a... This is like GPT-5 levels of depressing color palette, but that's okay. Can I fix this thing? Maybe this one doesn't need the screwdriver. All right, let me pick up all the tools, and then we'll kind of go from there. Click to repair with cable. Oh, so this is a broken PC. So I can perhaps repair this with the tool that I have. It worked. <laughs> and it said PC fixed and it changed color from the broken. All right, there's no PC on that desk. Yeah, we fired that employee, so there's nothing there. One to three select tools. That's really actually quite neat. So I have been unable to pick up the air compressor or the like 
that's what that is for. Maybe that's for Steve when he gets off work to use in his own time. All right, so, all right, I can't repair any other ones of these seemingly. Oh, hold on a second. We had to go into a different room. All right, I would like to repair this PC with the screwdriver. Two of five PCs have been fixed. Interesting, so not all broken PCs were in the same location. Can I just repair these all with the same? And here's the duster. This actually went ahead and, and completely fixed every single issue that this had. Can I repair these with anything? Okay, so that perhaps is not necessarily right, but mission complete. You've successfully repaired all the computers. Steve's PC repair service thanks you. This was obviously like my incredible prompt plays a part in this generated result, but <laughs> this was really quite quite wonderful. I'm very pleased with this. This could be worthy of around $15 on Steam, so keep an eye out for the link. That is going to conclude what is undoubtedly going to be a shorter video, but that is fine. Like I said, I did just want to get this out as there is so much hype around the DeepSeek model in general, and I also wanted to push the previous flop video that I made um, behind to the side. So did they put up a readme right now? No, there are no changes right here. That is just a suggestion to do that. So with that, at the time of this filming, there is still no readme, so I just wanted to, as I've probably said 53 times now, put out a quick video here. If you have any questions, please feel free to subscribe and then leave them in the comments. In addition to that, uh, that's probably it, so thanks for watching, and 